I almost damn near died from a near-death experience. Today, I'm gonna to share that experience with you with the hopes that it will have a profound impact on your life as it has done for me. I also wanna give you a heads up. I will be sharing some pictures with you, but I have blurred out the blood, so everything's PG-13. Let's go. My name is Nathan Cook, and I'm here to help you raise your consciousness. So about a year and a half ago, I was out riding my electric skateboard on a paved trail, enjoying the sun, enjoying my day, similar to the video that you see here. Just out here cruising, just enjoying life. And after riding my skateboard for a while, I came across this exact turtle. So I got off my skateboard, I recorded the turtle for a little bit, hopped back on my skateboard, and had no idea that my life was gonna transform within the next two minutes after this recording. After finishing recording the turtle, I got back on my electric skateboard and I was dipping. And dipping means going fast. My electric skateboard, the fastest it could go was 31 miles an hour, and that's exactly how fast I was going. While riding, I immediately started thinking about this international trip I was gonna be taking the following month. I was thinking about all the things I was gonna do, places I was gonna go. I was like really stoked about this trip. And out of nowhere, my thumb just slams on the brake and I just start flying forward. Even while I was flying forward, I was still thinking about this trip, this illusion. And then all of a sudden, my mind went from instantly daydreaming about this trip to being in a full vivid dream. And this dream showing me two different realities. The first reality was of my mom looking at me while I was laying in the hospital bed. And I had all these tubes hooked up to me. I had an oxygen mask on, I had all these bandages around my head. And my mom was standing about six feet away. And a doctor walks up to the right side of my mom and says, I'm sorry, Mrs. Cook, your son, He's brain dead and he's gonna be like this for the rest of his life. You do have an option though. You can go over there and pull that plug and it'll give him about seven minutes before he transitions over. And the dream ended just like that. And my final reality was with me at my mom's house in a wheelchair because I was paralyzed from the neck down. And I was watching my favorite TV show, which is Judge Judy. <laughs> and the doorbell rings and it's my cousin. And as soon as my cousin comes in the house, she sees me in my new reality for the first time and she just starts crying. She was crying because I was no longer the Nathan that she always knew. And even though I was paralyzed from the neck down, I could still feel that sadness in my gut. And then the dream ended and I opened my eyes and there I am laid out on this pavement in immense pain, the ground swaying back and forth like an ocean. And that's when I realized I fell. I have no idea how long I was unconscious for, but my body was pretty banged up. <laughs> I've actually never seen a helmet break or crack in my life. After I was able to finally stand up, I took a moment to reflect on what just happened to me and something amazing happened. I mean, literally just like that. I was instantly filled with this immense abundance of love. Calling it love would be an understatement because I never felt this love for my own mother. It was just so warm and so peaceful. I just felt like I was being loved by God, the universe, energy, spirit, consciousness, whatever it is, I could feel it. Something woke up in me and I just didn't feel this love. I was connected to this love. It gave me this intuition, wisdom, knowledge. I could feel in my heart that if my body died, I was still going to be here because life doesn't last forever, nor does death. I instantly knew that I am everything and I am nothing. I am the good and I am the evil. I am the empty space in a cup. I am you. I instantly felt connected to everything, seen and unseen. I, I finally realized that I wasn't born into this world. I was born from the world, like an apple being grown from an apple tree. And all of this transpired within seconds. And after I came out of this awakening, my very first thought was that I am no longer a Christian. <laughs> And the reason why is because I want to love the atheist, the Hindu, the Muslim, and the Christian unconditionally. My second thought, I am no longer Republican. 
I don't want to have any ill thoughts if someone believes in pro-gun or pro-abortion. And then my third thought is that I am no longer an American. I want world peace, but I can't get world peace if I have country pride. I just started dropping all the human made titles and labels that we've given ourselves. It was only causing division in my life. So I just said, hey, I don't need to choose a side anymore. And it doesn't even make sense for me to choose a side because I am everything. I just want to love you for you. We all come from the same source. So after I just had this full blown out spiritual awakening on this trail from almost damn near dying, I called my mom up, asked her to take me to the ER. And once I was able to finally get to her car, I just started crying as soon as I got in the car. I had all these tears coming down my face. And my mom's like freaking out. She's like, baby, are you okay? Yes, ma. Are you in pain? Yes, ma. What's wrong with you? Are you happy to be alive? No, Ma, I'm just happy to know that if I did die, I was still going to be here. There were a lot of lessons learned from this experience, but the biggest lesson is to be present in the now moment. This accident happened because I was focused on a future event. I may not have even been alive to go on that trip. I was missing out on the beauty that was right there in front of me and focused on some illusion. How often are you not present with your child or your spouse? How much time do you spend each day thinking about something that happened to you in the past, feeling miserable about yourself? Or how often are you thinking about the future, getting anxiety, anticipating something? Well, let me share this with you. We don't have a past. We don't have a future. We only have now. All of eternity is happening right now. All the time in the world, all the time in the universe is happening right now. Live for now because this is all you have. This was the start of my spiritual journey, but let's go on this journey of life together. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting a video once a week and let's just not get old together. Let's grow together. Bye for now.